Hello YouTube, it's me again, uh, coming to you with another video, hopefully to help you through this anxiety process. Um, I was uh, I was thinking the other day, going through different anxiety uh, Facebook pages, blogs, and whatnot. I like to do that to see where other people are coming from, um, to see where to see how I might be able to connect with people. And um, a lot of the times I, I I can relate with what a lot of people are posting. And uh, I feel like I have a lot of uh, remedies to people's problems, uh, struggles, uh, questions. Um, so that's kind of what I do to get my material for my videos. Um, like I said, if you haven't seen my previous videos, uh, I encourage you to check them out, um, get my backstory. Uh, I have struggled with anxiety still, still uh, to this day. Um, it's gotten much better. Uh, I've learned a lot of coping techniques whatnot uh, so it's gotten a lot better um, what I want to talk about this go around is I see a lot of people and now most of them post to these blogs to these Facebook pages as anonymous um, but I see a lot of people posting I've dealt with anxiety for five years I've dealt with anxiety for X amount of years um, and I'm, I'm by no means no one to judge. Um, I, I just, I, I hurt for the people who have suffered that long with anxiety. Um, and I kind of want to make this video to, to be a little in your face about things. Uh, and I, I don't want to come off as rude or anything like that but when I see that stuff the first thing that comes to my mind when I read I've dealt with anxiety for X amount of years the first thing that comes to my mind is you're stronger than that now I know I don't know you on a personal level I know I know I don't know anybody on a personal level but I know this can be me. I know this can be over overcome uh, because I'm doing it. I, I've, I don't want to say I've done it yet because I don't think I'm quite there, but I'm definitely well on my way. Um, I haven't had a breakdown uh, where I just completely seclude myself um, for about, I want to say about a month now. Which is really good because it was happening at first daily, uh, multiple times a day, probably about four or five times a day to where I had to go away from people, regroup, and then come back. Uh, so it has digressed from multiple times daily to four or five times weekly to three times weekly, two times weekly, once a week to now I haven't had anything in a month um, and like I said you know I, I kind of want to be in your face a little bit if you will in this video and, and I kind of want to be that person to tell you you don't have to do this you don't have to suffer with this for X amount of years you can beat this you can overcome this uh, it's not easy by any means it has been for me, it has been by far the hardest thing that I've ever had to do in my life, ever. There are times where I thought I was going to completely just just run away. I just wanted to run away. Um, I didn't necessarily, I didn't have suicidal thoughts. I just wanted to seclude myself. Um, I didn't want to be around nobody. I felt, you know, useless, I felt like this thing was beating me, I felt like I couldn't win, 
Um, I, I can't stress to you how low this got me. I, I, I really can't. Uh, one day I want to really get into depth and into detail about my struggle um, and, and kind of take it to those, to those places so that you guys understand more what I've overcome. Uh, I've overcome a lot. I've overcome a lot. Uh, if you haven't seen my other videos, uh, just a real quick rundown. Uh, I got to the point where I almost lost my job. Uh, or at least I felt like I was going to lose my job. Now, whether or not that's true, I don't know. Um, but anxiety, stress, panic gets you feeling like that. Um, my wife was getting to the point where uh, her solution for me was like, look, you need to deal with this or you need to go away um, and figure this out because it's it was getting to the point where it's tearing up the family. Um, she was getting you know, stressed with it. Uh, my kids, you know, they don't know what's going on with me. Um, it was pretty bad. It was really bad. Uh, my co-workers, uh, my relationships with my co-workers uh, were taking a turn for the worse. Um, my friends, you know, I, I wasn't really talking to anybody. Um, nobody knows exactly what you're going through unless someone has gone through it. And it's hard to find somebody that has gone through the same thing you have, uh, that I have. So, like I said, uh, you can overcome this. You can overcome this. It's a process. It's a drawn-out struggle. It is, for me, it was the hardest struggle I've ever Overcome. It was the hardest thing I've overcome. Um, I, oh man, I have not done anything. I have not gone through anything worse than trying to overcome anxiety, trying to overcome panic, the depression. Um, I have not overcome anything that has been that hard. And uh, it's a fight. It's a fight, it's a struggle, it's gonna beat you down, it's gonna knock you down, it's gonna kick you while you're down, but you have to keep fighting. You have to keep fighting. Um, whether that's with uh, talk therapy, uh, I've tried hypnotherapy, I've really enjoyed that. Um, meditation, um, I don't know if anybody has uh, Apple Music or Google Music or anything like that, if you search um, hypnotherapy, uh, it'll bring up some hypnotherapy soundtracks that you can meditate to. That's what I've done. Um, that really helps. That really calms me down. Um, even if you can do it, you know, usually I do it for about 10 minutes uh, before, I get, before I go into work. I get to work a little early and I usually, uh, in my car, I'll try to get into the place of Zen um, for about 10 minutes before I go tackle my day. Um, but anyways, um, it's a fight. It's it's finding the right uh, prescription. It's finding uh, the right coping methods. It's finding the right uh, support groups. It's finding the right uh, advice. It's finding what works for you. And it's hard to find what works for you because there's no one, there's not a Book, there's not a certain solution that's going to work for everybody. There's not a universal method that's going to work for everybody. What works for me may not work for somebody else. What's worked for somebody else maybe hasn't worked for me. Um, like I said, I've tried, uh, I've been on my trial runs with about four or five different medications before I finally found the one that actually works for me. And uh, when you do find that medication that works for you, you're going to know it. Um, it makes a dramatic difference. Um, you're really able to calm down. You're really able to relax. You're really able to focus on uh, life. You're really able to keep that anxiety at bay to where you can function in everyday life. Um, 
it, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. It's a fight. But it's a fight worth fighting. It's a fight worth giving it all to. Um, whether that's, you know, looking for your coping methods, whether that's finding your right prescription, whether it's finding what works for you, the fight is 110% worth it. Um, you're not going to recover by playing victim, which is what I did for the longest time. And a, and a, a funny story, real quick, um, I had a really bad breakdown, um, was talking with my wife, and, you know, it was like, look, you know, I want to quit my job, I want to quit my job, like, I can't do this no more, it's too far, the stress, the drive, it's killing me, I drive for five hours a day uh, to go to work, um, when I have to stay up there, uh, you know, I don't sleep, it's killing me, <clears throat> I was waking up every morning, um, throwing up, if I wasn't throwing up, I was gagging, um, because I was, wasn't eating, so I couldn't throw up sometimes, um, my stomach was burning, my stomach just had this constant burn going to it, uh, I woke up stressed, I woke up in, in this anxiety state, right, so I'm telling my wife, like, this is killing me, I, I can't do this no more, I can't do this no more, I've been doing this for eight months, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting pissed off, I'm getting mad, I'm getting at my wit's end, and, you know, I'm, I'm telling my wife, you know, I, I can't do this no more, I've been doing this for eight months, I've been doing this for eight months, and uh, how long do you expect me to do this for, how long do I have to go through this for, blah, 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 and I, I stopped and I listened to myself for a second, and what I was saying was contradicting to what I was doing. I kept saying, I can't do this no more. I've been doing it for eight months. And it hit me. I've been doing this for eight months. How is it I can't do it? I've been doing it for eight months. Now, yeah, it's been hard. It's been a fight. It's been a struggle. Um, every day's uh, tasks has been a struggle. If I could make it to work, um, that's a good day for me. That's a good day for me. Um, but I realized my words were contradicting my actions. Uh, I, I kept saying I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I've been doing it for eight months. And it hit me like, holy crap, I am doing this. I am fighting through this. No, it's not easy. No, it's not, you know, a cakewalk. Uh, no, it's not, you know, a piece of cake. It's hard, it's hard, but I was doing it. I was doing it. Um, yeah, I wasn't eating, yeah, I was having my breakdowns at work, yeah, you know, uh, I was having to uh, go on extended leaves to, uh, you know, regroup, regather myself, but I was doing it. And that was the important thing is I was doing it. I wasn't letting this thing take me down. I wasn't letting this thing win. And it wasn't until I started seeing my actions that I started to realize that they were contradicting my words and my thoughts. I had this whole misconception of I can't do this no more. I can't do this, I can't do this. Uh, this is going on, this is going on, blah, 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 this, this, and that. And all the while, while my mind's going over here, my actions are going over there. And I am doing this. And I am making it work. It's not easy. No, it's not. You know, I, I, I'm going to be the first one to tell you that fighting through this and, and trying to beat it is not easy. And it's not hard. And, and learning to cope with the anxiety isn't easy. And it's a process. You have to retrain your brain. You have to retrain your frame of thought. And it took you a while to get to this state of mind, to this state of anxiety. Whether you believe it or not, it took you a while. And uh, reflecting on your past, 
will help you realize where this anxiety came from. Once my wife and I started kind of dissecting uh, my past, my uh, life, my upbringing, then I started to realize, okay, you know what? This anxiety has been building up for the past 20 some years. Um, there's a lot of dysfunction that I've gone through that I've kind of ignored that has finally caught up with me. And I, I started to realize that, you know what? My brain has been trained to think a certain way. And it's been trained that way for a very long time. It's been doing this thing for a very long time. But your brain can also be trained to do the opposite thing, which is think positive, which is, you know, uh, not panic, um, stay, stay positive, stay in that right frame of mind. I can't really put the words to it, but I hope you understand what I'm, what I'm getting at. Um, when I, when I went back and, and a lot, a lot of people too, that I've seen posting on these forums and these, uh, these uh, Facebook pages is this seems to come out of this seems to have came out of nowhere and that's what I felt this seemed to have came out of nowhere to where I was breaking down to where I couldn't do anything no more to where I secluded myself to where I was crying to where I was panicking to where I was sweating to where my stomach was hurting I couldn't sleep I couldn't eat it all seemed to come out of nowhere. I was wrong. It didn't come out of nowhere. It had been there the whole time. I just put got put into a situation that was extreme enough to trigger the full effects. Um, like I said, once my wife and I started talking about where this came from, it started to make sense. Um, I never liked going anywhere by myself. Every time I did, I wanted somebody with me, whether it was my son, my daughter, my wife. I didn't like even, I live five minutes from the grocery store. Uh, I didn't want to go to the grocery store by myself. I had to take somebody with me. And if I didn't, I'd want to hurry up and get there and get back. Um, so it was built up over these years of little things like that, like not wanting to go to the grocery store for five minutes by myself. Little things like that that you don't think at the time are an issue, are a problem. But that, not me not wanting to be alone to go to the grocery store was anxiety, was my panic. And, you know, keep in mind, uh, I'm 28 now, you know, I've been going through this uh, not wanting to be alone uh, since I could remember, um, since I was probably about uh, in kindergarten, uh, not wanting to be away from home. Um, it's been going on for a long time. Uh, now, when you're younger and you're in kindergarten, uh, being away from home, crying to go back home, you think that's kind of normal. Uh, but it didn't stop. Uh, I got sent to a lot of vacation Bible schools for weeks on end uh, my mom sent me and I would always get stomach aches and I would always get sick and I didn't know why and I would always cry and I would always you know just want to be home just want to be home that was my anxiety now at the time I didn't think nothing of it I, at the time I was like man you know why do I always get sick? Why does my stomach always hurt? Um, why am I always crying? You know, I'm at camp. This is a good time. We're swimming. We're, you know, water balloon fights. We're doing this. We're doing that. And um, not me. Not me. So, so once I started to really dissect my past and really get into the root of anxiety, then I started to realize, okay, this has been around for a very long time. The process of digging myself out of this hole is probably going to take not as long, but it's going to take a while. Um, I, and it's 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 not a process that's just going to end like that. 
I, I wish I wish it would. Trust me, I, I wish it would. I'm glad that, you know, um, no severe damage was done in my life, but it was getting there to where my fi my wife was wanting me to get a go away, um, where I felt like I was gonna lose my job. Um, I have four kids and a wife to support. I can't lose my job. Um, I was getting there. I wasn't eating. I, I, I think I lost about 15 pounds in a month. Um, so it was getting there. And I was able to pull myself out before there was anything severe that couldn't be undone, which is great. Uh, now, do, do I still, am I still completely over it? No, not really. I still kind of get a little fidgety and I still kind of, you know, feel a little bit of anxiety sometimes. I'm still working two hours away. So, uh, you can imagine that, uh, I'm, I'm not exactly over it, but I'm able to cope with it a lot better. Um, so, you know, the, the, the moral of my story is... You can fight through this. It's not easy. It's not easy. I, I, I'm going to be the first one to tell you that it's not easy. And I'm sure you know that. Uh, I, I know that. I'm sure anyone going through this, watching, going through anxiety, knows it. It's not an easy fight. But you cannot fight this by just taking a prescription and hoping it goes away. It takes work. You cannot fight this. You cannot defeat this by going to talk therapy and just hoping it goes away. It doesn't work that way. It's You have to actually fight for it. And like I said, you need to find your coping methods. You need to find your your uh, what works for you. Now, I could tell you what worked for me, um, but it might not be the same thing for you that's going to work for you. Um, and and I, I credit this to my wife because she's the one who gave me this idea. She said, you know what? You're not happy because you don't do anything. You sit there and you wait for this to go away. All the while, you're not doing anything. You don't have, you, you go through the day, you're just going through the motions. You don't have anything to be proud of. You don't have anything that you've accomplished that day. You don't have you don't have any goals that you set. You don't have nothing to feel good about yourself for. And I sat there and I thought about what she was saying is she was right. She was right. I was sitting there waiting for this to go away. And it wasn't. Uh, you know, since since she told me that, I started doing more things. I started running. Uh, I just ran my first 5K a few days ago. Um, I've never ran in a 5K. I'm 270 pounds. I'm a big guy. I don't like running. I hate running, but I did it. Uh, and I did it with a sprained ankle. Um, I didn't want to stop. I didn't want to quit. Um, I went into the race with a sprained ankle, and I didn't want to quit. I wasn't going to let nothing stop me. And part of that drive and determination comes from overcoming anxiety. Because, that I, because the fact that I did do it, that I did overcome it, that it was the hardest thing in my life, that nothing in this world is going to ever bring me down. And that's how I feel now that I've beaten this, or that I'm almost beaten it. Because I don't want to say I, I have yet, I'm still kind of on the road to recovery, but I've done things to get out of my comfort zone. Making these videos has taken me out of my comfort zone. Running oh my God, has taken me out of my comfort zone. Um, I hate running, like I said. You know, I can bench I can bench press 225, no problem, but I can barely run a mile. Uh, so um, set goals for yourself, even if it's something little, even if it's going for a five-minute walk, even if it's going for a 10-minute walk, even if it's going into the gym for 20 minutes and hitting a bike or uh, Pokemon Go. Everybody loves Pokemon Go right now. Download some Pokemon Go. Go catch some Pokemon. You know, uh, I play Pokemon Go. Uh, I take Pokemon Go with me on my runs. Um, it helps. I hate running, but it's not its not all that bad when I can catch a Bulbasaur, you know. Makes my run a little bit more worth it. Um, 
So uh, set goals for yourself. Set even if it's something small. Um, a, a goal that I set that I thought was very small and easily obtainable is being up by seven o'clock in the morning every day. Uh, I don't get home till one, so being up by seven it was a struggle for me. Um, now I really can't sleep past seven, which is good. I get up, I go running, I spend time with my kids, uh, I do things before I have to leave up to work. Uh, so I have more of my day back now. Um, and it's just little goals like that that's going to help you tremendously. Um, and then you can build up to those bigger goals. Uh, you know, my, my next goal was to run a mile without stopping. So then I ran a mile without stopping. Then I was running two miles without stopping. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't run the whole 5K without stopping. Because uh, going into the race, I did have a sprained ankle, but I did, I did, I did roll it again while I was racing. Uh, when I, while I was in the race, uh, it was a dirt, it was a dirt path, and I stepped in a little hole and rolled my ankle. Um, so that made me stop a little bit, but I kept going. I wasn't gonna let nothing stop me, um, and it felt good. It felt great. I'm running another 5K next month in August. Uh, my wife wants me to run a half marathon in November, which I'm shooting for. I'm shooting for. Like I said, if I could beat this anxiety, I can run a freaking half marathon, no problem. So uh, I want to be here to tell you that you can get over this. You can overcome this. You have to fight it. You have to get put on your gloves and you have to throw down with this thing. That's the only way it's going to go away. Um, you have to learn how to cope with the anxiety. You have to learn what works for you. It's not just going to go away on its own. It's not. It has to be. You have to fight for it. You have to give it your all because it's taken a long time for this stuff to build up. It's taken a long time for this to, to come out. And it's going to take a long time for it to be undone, so to speak. Um, so don't get discouraged if you have that breakdown. Don't get discouraged if uh, one day you just you know, want to get away from everybody. Don't, it's a fight and it's an up and down battle. Uh, some days you're going to feel like this and then one day, all of a sudden, after two weeks, you're doing great, you're going to come down again. And that's what happened to me. And I'll tell my wife, I'll be like, you know what, why? Why? I was doing so good. I hadn't had a breakdown in a week. Uh, I've been doing great at work. Uh, I've been running. I've been doing this. And then all of a sudden, boom, it hits me again. That's when it's gonna really test you. That's when you're really gonna to have to fight it because that's gonna make you feel like you're coming down again and you're reverting back to your old ways. But that's not the case. That's not the case at all. It's a process. And it's a process that takes time and effort to overcome. It's like running for, training for a marathon. It's like training for the Olympics or uh, training to become a pro athlete. You cannot just jump into it. It's something that has to be worked on. It's something that has to be continuously fought for. It's something that has to be continuously uh, wanted. So don't, dis don't get discouraged when you fall back a little bit. Don't get discouraged. Because when I used to fall back, I used to get those, those, those stupid thoughts running. Why is this happening again? Why is this happening again? Why is this happening again? Uh, I was doing so good. What if this never goes away? What if this and that? What if this and that triggers your anxiety? That's gonna trigger your anxiety. Anxiety is, is, is triggered from stress. Asking yourself why this, why that, blah, 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 is gonna trigger that anxiety. So just when it does happen, just understand that it's all part of the process. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just part of the process. You're going to come back down for a little bit. And that's when you really got to grab this thing by the horns and you got to wrestle it down with all your might. But I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I've done it. And I've fought so hard through it. But I've made it out the other end. I'm taking you guys on my journey with me to work. Um, 
taking you on my journey with me through this struggle, through this, uh, through this battle. Um, but I've, I've overcome it. Like I said, I just ran my first 5K. I'm 28 years old. I've never done anything like that before. At 28 years old, to say that you haven't done anything like that, you know, that was your first time, feels good. Feels good. Now, I'm not saying I'm the oldest, but, you know, to say I haven't done that before, you know, those those kind of things come few and far between. So, got my next 5K coming up next month. Um, I got my half marathon I'm going to attempt with my wife uh, in November. Um, those are my goals that I'm setting. Um, so, uh, just keep, keep at it, you guys. Keep at it. Um, if, if, uh, if you guys need help, if you guys have questions, if you guys need someone to talk to, please shoot me an email. M-E-J-J-V-R at hotmail.com. Um, I'm working on building an a anxiety Facebook page. Uh, I want to throw that up out there. Um, I want people to message me on there. I know people don't really feel comfortable asking for help, but I want you to. We're, you know, we're strangers. You know, it's okay. I'm not going to go blast your stuff all over social media. Um, my intentions is truly, solely to help people go through and get through this anxiety. That's my sole intention. Um, I want to eventually write a book on this. I would like to eventually, um, get a really good Facebook page going for this. I would really like to just, just really, just, I really just have that passion, that drive to want to help people get through this. Uh, I, I still read a lot of those forums and those Facebook pages and it hurts me to see that people have gone through this for X amount of years. It doesn't have to be that way. I promise you it doesn't. Um, if you need any help, if you need any coping methods, if you need any suggestions, please email me. As soon as I get the Facebook page up and running, I'm going to start posting that link to it. Um, please like, subscribe to the videos, comment on it. If you have any questions, leave, drop them in the comment box. Uh, I'm pretty good at checking my emails, uh, my Facebook, my uh, YouTube channel. Um, I'm always checking to see how many views I got. That's a little exciting. Um, I'm up to two subscribers. Yes, uh, that's exciting. Um, I did have one comment on Facebook uh, that was in regards to one of my videos um, that they felt it was a brilliant video. That felt good to me. That is my reward. That's all I want to know is that I helped somebody. So you guys keep up the good work, keep up the good fight. Um, Peace, love, and chicken grease. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.